Hey, good morning. Uh, so we're here at Disneyland Paris today um, for a little bit of a celebration and we're coming out to Walt's, an American restaurant here on Main Street. This is a signature dining restaurant named after the man himself. Um, so hopefully we're going to have a good time in there. Uh, you've got rooms that are all designed specifically to each of the lands, so it should be really cool. Uh, we'll show you guys some of the menu, some of the decor and uh, some of the food that we have as well. So if you do enjoy the video throughout, give us a thumbs up, do appreciate it, it really does help us out a lot. I'd love for you guys to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. Let's go inside. So Walt's restaurant is located around halfway down Main Street at Disneyland Paris. Pour la santé et la sécurité de tous et durant ce spectacle, nous vous recommandons opposite uh, Bangles and Beads, the Emporium. Lorsque vous toussez et éternuez, nous vous remercions. So as we come in, we've got a very, very ornate looking room in here statue of the man himself, Walter Elias Disney. Loads of pictures of him throughout the years. This is a neat touch, a little bird in a cage, looks like uh, the ones from the Enchanted Tiki Room. We've got one of the uh, machines that you spin and you see the characters doing when you look through the, doing their thing when you look through the peephole here. Pictures of, uh, family pictures throughout the years. That is really cool. He's drawing himself as Mad Hatter. Not Walt, Walt is there. And then you got this nice grand thing on the bottom as well. This is obviously an incredibly famous picture. We've seen this time and time again, this one. And then Baby Walt, Elias Disney, and Flora Disney, his parents. Loads of pictures of the man. Him with all his Mickeys. Let's have a look at the menu. Basically the premise of this is that all of these dishes would be something that Walt would have liked, inspired by his tastes. So at the beginning of the 20th century, the lives of Americans changed forever with the arrival of electricity, motorized vehicles, and many other inventions and discoveries. Main Street USA represents Walt's nostalgia for that optimistic and innovative era. In this restaurant, which bears his name, certain dishes are inspired by his favorite food, and our chefs have created modern versions, which Walt, with his love of innovation, surely would have been excited to try. Uh, it is a set menu, so start a main and dessert for 42 euros, wine included for 62 euros. We've got some images from the creation of Disneyland Park. And so for starter, we've got uh, sweet corn soup, or chicken pot pie, or Waldorf salad. Main courses, we've got chili con carne, roast chicken breast. Sorry, the light is not good there. Mac and cheese or Cajun spiced Arctic char or Felma potato. And then desserts, we've got a lemon meringue eye, pineapple upside down cake or flower street sundae. 
or warm giant chocolate chip and a hazelnut cookie with caramel sauce or a celebration cake. Interesting. Right, let's see what else we've got throughout. This is the drink menu, a mint julep. That is the go-to drink at Disneyland Park in California. We've got a mimosa, we've got Shirley Temple, and then a selection of beers, wines, and other accompaniments. This is the kind of view that you get from the windows of Waltz if you time it correctly. And I think we've timed this pretty well. Dream and shine bright going over the top. Uh, if you want to watch the full video, I'll put a link up in the top corner to that because it is a phenomenal parade. And this is the happy birthday cocktail. This is 15 euros and 50 cent. Uh, but look at the color of it. It looks quite good. It's matching the colors for the 30th anniversary. Really, really nice. Let's give it a go. Oh, this is nice. So here we've got our chicken pot pie with our little uh, Mickey crust over the top. We've got a small salad as well, and we've got a warm bread roll. The plate designs look absolutely fantastic with the little Mickey as a chef, uh, as a waiter, sorry. Over there, we're not at Chef Mickey's, there's a waiter here. <laughs> right, we've got kind of like a puff pastry. All right, we're gonna give the filling a try. I'm not gonna like deconstruct it and eat it all, and it'll just be a bit of a mess. So we've got chicken, and we've got cream sauce, we've got celery, potatoes. Very nice. Very fresh. Small portion of the actual pot pie itself. But it's a set menu, so you've got to have all three dishes. So you don't want to fill up on a big starter um, and then not eat your main and dessert. Nice to have the Mickey shaped top on it though. That's a good touch. Um, you've got a healthy portion of chicken in there though. A lot of chicken in there. Big big chunks of chicken. So we've gone for the chicken breast for Maine and Becky has gone for the mac and cheese. For starters we've both got the pot pie, the chicken pot pie, so that's why I didn't show you two main courses there. Um, but look at the presentation on that. It's just absolutely incredible. So I'm not a massive fan of mac and cheese but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, and see what it tastes like. It looks very much like the kind of craft box mac and cheese. It's really orange. A little bit more expensive than that. Nice, cheesy. And then we've got melted cheese. That's in like a, like a sheet. That's quite cool. That's very strong cheese, so it's like mature cheddar. And you do also have pastrami in there as well. That's a nice dish. A really nice dish. Creamy. Really creamy mac and cheese sauce. All right, so we're gonna give the chicken a try. Comes with the skin on. You got sweet, what I think is sweet potato mash on here. You've got uh, asparagus, you've got a gravy and uh, a lettuce, lettuce head as well. But let's try a bit of everything together. And the gravy's a really sweet gravy, which is um, a little bit strange. It's well cooked though, obviously. Chicken's you know, always cooked 
fairly well, it's not dry or anything. Here's chicken breast though. Skin on, so if you're not into that, it'd be a little bit weird. Asparagus is cooked well, it's quite crunchy still. Um, and then the sweet potato mash. Not a huge fan, um, but you've got kind of the sweet stuff going on there with the sweet potato mash and the gravy as well, so it kind of all works well together. So our desserts have just come. We've got the flowers sundae here, which um, I was expecting it to be served in a like glass, because it's a sundae, but obviously it's not been. And we've got three different flavours there by the look of it. You've got meringue sticks, you've got flowers over the top of it. So let's give it a try. Ooh. It's like cookie dough in that ice cream. Strawberry sorbet. And vanilla ice cream. The first one was incredible. Like a cookie dough flavoured ice cream. Perfect. We've also got the 30th anniversary celebration cake here. It comes with this little bell jar over the top of it. And then it's like a um, vanilla mousse. And you've got a small, you can zoom in here, little 30th medallion just on the top there with the raspberry. And then you've got the stars. And these are all in the colours to celebrate the 30th anniversary. I do love this, this is very cool. Then on the back it says happy 30th anniversary. I guess it is uh, pretty appropriate. Let's give this a try. It's like a, ooh, it's got sauce in the middle. It's got like a jelly in the middle and then a um, strawberry mousse at the bottom and a biscuit as well. That's what it looks like at least anyway. Give it a try. Very smooth, very light, very light. It tastes just like um, a bit like a yogurt or a chocolate mousse. It's just a really, really light one. Um, the strawberry itself is subtle, and then you've got that jelly in there as well. It just all mixes very well together. Um, and then, of course, the 30th medallion. Just ordered a latte and we've got it in a really fancy pants Mickey cup to match the dinnerware that we had. And also for the 30th we've got this little shortbread biscuit. They've really gone all out and every single thing in the park has this 30th on. It is amazing to see. Really quite happy with that. One of the things they are doing for the 30th anniversary at the moment is giving you these pins. I say giving you, you pay for them. Uh, they are 16 euros per pin, I believe. They have been out of stock for a little while, so I'm happy that we managed to get one of these. But they look really cool. Limited only for the 30th anniversary.
what's called the Nautilus. So this is the Discovery Land room then. Oh, that would be a perfect table to sit and watch the parade from. This one is Adventureland. And you've got a full uh, depiction of Adventure Isle here. So you've got Skull Rock, you've got the, uh, the tree. John Roger as well. come into Fantasyland. It's a beautiful picture of the castle there. Walt with Tink. you got the statue, Queen of Hearts. And then we got uh, one of the seven dwarves playing the piano. And we've got Jiminy Cricket. That is uh, fantasy land here, which is absolutely fantastic. So each of the rooms is designed to look like one of the lands or one of the resorts. So where we were staying or where we were eating was the Disneyland Resort. We've got this really ornate elevator here as well. Take you guys inside the great glass elevator. Show you it from this side. Look how stunning that is. Just as we go down, we'll take you in. Wow. Really like original kind of. This looks like something you'd find on the Titanic or something, right? Like, oh. oh, this is beautiful inside. It's working, it's working. So that's the end of our meal here at, well, Waltz. Um, hopefully you enjoyed following along throughout uh, because we had a fantastic time. But uh, we would have preferred it not to be a set menu when we first came in, but the set menu actually really worked well together. The pairings that we had, um, and they were nice, simple dishes, weren't too overpowering. Um, the decor in there is absolutely incredible. Um, having all of the all the the rooms designed to match all of the lands throughout Disney, and the resorts themselves was awesome. Um, so as I said, hopefully you did enjoy that. If you did like the video, give us a thumbs up, do appreciate it, it really does help us out a lot. I'd love for you guys to hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks. <laughs>